Hello, my people. I am Barb. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, thank you for finding our channel, my channel. I say our because pretty much this is the Glamazon Hot Mess Beauty Horde. I am B-Rex, the pure goddess one at yahoo.com. And, uh, you know, this is large enough now to gain sentience. So here we are. If you are new and you end up liking what you see, don't forget to hit like so the YouTube goblins bring you more of me or similar content. And if you are already subscribed, thank you for subscribing and coming back. If you do like what you see as a new person, you might want to like and subscribe. But, you know, I don't push that on anybody. You do you, homie. I'm just going to do me. Anyway, fast forward. Today we are doing quick eye makeup. I'm wearing a leopard print top because I can and it fits. And I ain't got time to play around with things. See, I'm already knocking into crap. So, oh yeah, because I didn't put this back in. Duh. All right, today... I'm going to start with eyes because the rest is very simple. I'm going to put on some freaking foundation, probably this guy, and a little bit of colorless powder and maybe some blush. I'm not sure what lip color, but, you know, I'm going to keep it to neutral. So today we're using the Cella palette, which is the La Vie Neutral. It has beautiful, if you're not familiar with it, removable pans. This is a gorgeous, like, pink, white, gold, multi-chrome, plain gold, and then two neutrals. But I am also going to mix it with a little bit of my tan pigment from MAC. And as a base, I am using my Thrive Cosmetics Eye Lift 360 Waterproof Primer with my MAC, I'm sorry, Tarte Pink Pot in the shade Paradise Found Chrome Paint right over it. So let us begin. Because we ain't got no time because I have to be someplace at 7.30 and it is 6.40. My husband just jumped in the shower. I basically have until he gets out to get my life together. So please pardon how sloppy this might come out because I will just do what I can after. And thank you for watching me do my makeup. I also vlog at you at the same time. I either tell you about deals or stuff going on. If you're new to me, I'll give you a little background about myself. I am a Gen X, 40-something-ish, living in the Northeast, state of Connecticut. I'm originally not from Connecticut, and I have lived in such wonderful places as New Jersey, Arizona, and other fabulous joints. So let us begin. All right, so we have this on. I'm going to let it sit for a hot minute. I'm going to do my brows real fast. So today I'm going to use this precisely my brow in the shade 4, which is warm deep brown. Pencil, just to fill in the little naked spots from where I've been burnt in the past, quite literally so, from when I used to get brow waxes for this area. So you can tell nothing grows right here, so we're going to put a couple of little strokes there. And a few through here where she's gotten a little thin over time. This side is also a little bit shorter than this side because, again, hashtag been burnt, quite literally so. So, pick up my lovely little two-sided mirror that my friend gave me. I love the little cat-shaped pearl and rhinestone dangle. I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna brush through it afterwards just to kind of, you know, make everything meld through. But it's just, oh, let me just take off that little bit of extra with my finger. Like I always do. I want a nice thin amount sitting there. See, does that look better? I hope so. Because I don't plan on making this like, you know, Groucho Marks deep. And I think I already screwed up. Because I think I already put a little too much over there. I'm going to definitely have to comb that little spot out. Because even sometimes the best laid intentions go to hell in a handbasket. That's the great thing about makeup. Practice, play with it. If you don't like it, wipe it the hell off, start over. Or if you're really not having a good day, take it the hell off and wear your face naked. My mother does not believe in makeup, although she, I mean, like, she believes it exists, but she doesn't believe in wearing it, personally. Because she, even though she's a former artist, says that, you know, she doesn't feel that that expresses herself. She feels that, look, the universe made me a certain way. That's, that's the way I'm supposed to look. So she does not subscribe to the idea that I do where I'm just a 3D artist. This is me expressing myself. She feels, this is me feeling that, you know, the universe didn't make me right and I need to change it in some way to fit societal norms. My mom is a feminist. I gotta love her. And I do. I just don't agree with her view on makeup. So every time I wear it, she's just like, you know, you really don't need all that crap on your face. You're just gonna be pointless. 
for now because we need to brush this bed. I'm going to take the back end of this brush because I can. See, it has a little brush like that. Literally a hair brush. We're going to use that to rub this out. Get your mind out the gutter. How's that look? A little more natural, I hope. Because that's the goal, just to kind of naturally enhance what's there already, not draw a whole new shape if you have bigger brows like me. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to tell you in advance, if we ever go back to those super skinny brows that are trying to come back, don't expect to see them on me because I'm not fucking with perfection. Pardon my French. I only have the issue. I'm going to use my finger to apply this because I can. It's like a cream to powder. I'm only going to put it right here. This stuff stays on kind of, you know what? I might use this and just use the Chella Brown today. As you could tell, I'm crumbling all over myself, but I'm liking the way this looks. I bought these on sale and I hadn't actually used them yet. I had a mini Frosé shade, which is like a rose gold I had gotten in a holiday set. And my girlfriend, Danielle, DJ Sassy, bought some from a different Tarte sale and started using them and she just loved them. So she was like, you should get some. I was like, dude, I have them. I just didn't remember to like try them out yet. She's like, oh, you're going to love them. So much like the whole men's warehouse, you're going to love the way you look. I have to say she was right. So I'm just going to put this all up in there. And then from here, we're going to play around. I also like how they have this little like protective thing to keep the damn semi-creamy powder from really drying out because that's the issue. Okay, what are we going to do with you? Wait a second. Well, you guys are in the wrong spot. You can't be there. Everything has a specific little home in here or nothing fits because when you have too much, you have too much. I have too much. I know I have to go through and get rid of shit. I just haven't done it yet. All right. So let's take this cella in the shade dynamic because it has this little thing right over it. So dynamic is the dark like cocoa brown. See? And I'm going to actually use the little brush that's in here, I believe, because that's what I did last time, right? Yes, right. So this has a brush on one side and a sponge tip on the opposite. And we're just going to create a little V over here because we're not doing anything crazy. And I'm putting it right over the sparkles because I don't care. I always go light to dark. Chiaro scuro, as far as the uh, the artists in the room would do. Hey, my friend Danielle is an artist. My mom is an artist. My husband was an artist. All these guys have art in their blood. I was never gifted with having art classes of any type. I went to Catholic school. They were cheap. They didn't have art. And by the time I got to public school, if they had art, I wasn't allowed to take it. Just like I wasn't allowed to take home ec. Because as my mom and my aunts said, you were put on this earth to learn, not to cook. You already learned all cooking and home ec stuff from your grandmother and her sister's. And your aunt, older aunts, what the hell do you need to learn it in school for? Learn school shit in school. Which I kind of say, I admit it makes sense, but it would have been nice to have that kind of a refresher class to look forward to. So I'm really just doing the outer V and then what's left on the brush, I'll sweep towards the inner. Just so there's no like harsh line. But see, just a little something, something. Oh, this one needs a little bit more right here. I have to take my hair down. It's, I'm letting it absorb. I basically style my hair in the shower. Once I rinse out the conditioner, I put in a little bit of leave-in conditioner and a little bit of gel, comb it through, hang my head upside down, scrunch the hell out of it, in case you cared how I did my hair. And then um, after the scrunching, the scrunching, the scrunching, we go ahead and wrap it so the excess liquid comes out. And then at that point, that's where you get to the good shit. You just let it dry in your thing. Okay, so I'm going to open my tan and just take what's on the lid. Okay, we're not going to take what's on the lid because the lid wants to fall. Be a dick. I don't give a shit. Pardon my French. Okay, I flipped the lid upside down in here. Yay! So now I can take a very small narrow brush, like say a e.l.f. concealer brush, and just wipe that lid off and put a little bit... Where are we putting it? How does it even look today? We'll dip a little bit in there. See? And then I'm going to shake it off on the lid. Maybe we should put the loose jar down. Because we've spilled things like that before. 
oh, we're just going to put it right through here. So it's a little deeper, but not quite. This might be a look where you really can't tell the difference, but you know what? I'm trying it because it makes me feel good. So if you don't like it, don't do the same thing. That's the simple fact of the matter. Okay, so, okay, you can kind of see it. Here I have the matte brown with some shimmer to it now. I've got this pinkish kind of shade. Paradise Lost seems to be more of a... Uh, like sheer champagne on me and that's fine we're not going to go too crazy with this i am going to put some well first i have to wait and do like my face makeup to put it there but that'll be later don't let me forget that okay so now i didn't put any foundation uh whatchamacallit on shit i need some sort of a it's nighttime so i'm not worrying about sunscreen today maybe we will do the bear with me tinted skin veil mm, no let's do Velvet full coverage. We don't need full coverage. I mean, we have a couple little spots here, but we really don't need that much on them. What shall we wear today for foundation? For fuck's sake. Pardon my French. I'm swearing a lot today. I'm half asleep. I don't give a shit. You know what? Let's start with this guy. Let's just start with our Huda Beauty Graham Cracker 16G Concealer. Because we can. We'll put that concealer on. Because, hey, who knows? Maybe we won't even need. Oh, God. Okay, I just got a group text from the group that we're meeting up with for a late dinner. That somebody's done a little early. Well, that's great. Because my husband's in the shower. And I am still getting dressed. So y'all are going to have to. Oh, that is way too much. Oh, wow. Okay, so what did I learn from this? Because, remember, um, I was leaving in a few minutes. Okay, fine. So this is what I'm going to basically end up putting all over. I still never put my friggin' primer on. Face primer. I'm... Okay, stop blowing up the friggin' text messages, people. I love you all to death, but when you answer one, you answer all. All right. Perfecting. Let's just do spackling. So I'm going to use the Spackle Mattifying Oil Control Under Makeup Primer from Laura Geller. Looks like this. I'm going to put a squirt on. And now we're gonna try to oh by the way my hands are so dry now that i literally have so much dead skin from all the hand sanitizer even though i've been exfoliating my hands i like literally can't feel anything almost so that's always fun to you know all right we're gonna use this guy which is the putty scooper and the buffer i'm gonna buff this guy into here okay because i don't need mattifier under my eyes obviously because we want moisture there but this is my Texamo brand brush. They're a uh, like private third party um, brush manufacturer. They have great brushes. They gifted me a set on Amazon. I love them so much. I went back and bought more because how do you not buy more when you love it? All right. Taking a um, Real Techniques. What's it say? Dark area correcting brush. It's like an airbrushing stippler. And we're going to take and kind of pull this stuff down and use it to also stipple these little guys. These are my little... When I have random... I don't get a lot of acne, but lately when I have been, it's been around my... Uh, my whatchamacallit. my uh forehead i don't know why maybe my hair products i don't know but as you can tell just gonna stipple airbrush stipple because i put way too much concealer on so this is how i fix it just gonna bounce the hell out of this and i have a ton more concealers i just don't feel i mean um foundations i just really don't feel like getting up and going into my uh, my concealer drawer, my foundation drawers. I have a foundation drawer. I have one of those little, they look like the size of a plastic shoebox. And they're on wheels, just three little bins. I inherited it from something my husband had bought for his ex-wife to store her nail polish because she had a nail polish collection. Thank you, Carolina. So I'm just going to use this to kind of cover up any little blemishes see there we go did you drop i don't know what you did 
screw it. All right, foundation. We still need to find a foundation. What are we using today? Let us use even better refresh. Why not? This is the shade WN, so probably warm, neutral, medium, toasted almonds. WN92 toasted almonds. Let's see what they look like. Oh, we look like this. Let's try it. Because then we can finish the eyes, because first we need to have all this area done. Oh, I had a primer. Shit, I was trying to kill this little sample. Oh, well. I'll be another day. Another day, another dime. Oh, it does match. Look at that. Because I was going to use my Huda one, but I don't feel like going to dig for it. Because it's in the drawer. It's probably way more foundation than I actually need. But we shall use our brush, and we shall... As my husband would say, rub one out. And of course, I'll also finish my brows after that too. Because here's my thing. If I finish my brows 100% before on before I actually apply any powder on my face, I'm going to get powder on my brows. If I was a blonde, it wouldn't matter. I'm not a blonde, so it does matter. Get some of that redness from around my nose. I don't normally have a lot of redness on my face, but hey, let's go. Today's the day. And so I don't smear what's under here. I'm going to tap. And they're texting again, for Lord's sake. You're all going to see each other in like half an hour. Can't you all stop texting for five minutes? Anyway. I love all these guys. Great friends. Great friends. I just have to laugh. But then, of course, nobody knows I'm really making a video at the same time I'm getting texts. So, like, is it really their fault? No, it is not. It is Barb's fault. Okay, so under eyes, we're going to use this, which is the banana setting powder from... What the fuck brand? Pardon my friend. Bella Priere. And then we're going to use my little sample Peach Perfect for the rest of the face. Because we do not want to be as yellow as a banana. Only for some things. All right. Belle Gauche fingertip style concealer brush, which I use for setting. And yes, you're going to watch the whole thing. We're setting. We keep buzzing. Basically, this is high school reunion. Buddies. I'm very fortunate. My husband's high school friends have all adopted me as one of their own. I love them. They're all great people. I really do. Let's put a little bit on some of these dark spots so they don't highlight too much when they get powdered. Especially these. These are the worst. Those are the most recent little breakouts. And you know what it is? I'll tell you honestly. I hate little breakouts on me because a lot of times they will... Instead of just being there and doing their thing, they're like under the skin and trapped. And so I use the little acne dots and that works to a degree, but then they, they just get dark. I hyperpigmentation, you know, person of color issues. Not everybody gets it. Some people do. Some people do not. All right. Using my magnetic, um, Sephora collection brush for powder. Cause I like how it's angled and we're just going to plop this shit all over. I'm going to close my mouth because it kind of tastes like peach. Which makes me wonder what the hell is in it. But it's the mattifying one, so that's all I need. I have the tinted one that's mattifying. That's like for darker skin. But it is buried in my collection. I'm trying to use a lot of these little sample size things because it's not like I travel for work or anything every friggin' week. So if not, I'm going to have all these tiny miniature things all over. Got to get them out the way. So that's good enough for government work, as my husband would say. All right. Now, before I forget about it, let's put a blush on. What blush should we want to use today? Hold up. Let's see. Oh. Let's go a little on the red side. So let's use this one, which is called Natural Beauty from the Heart Collection. The 12-hour Amazonian clay. I'm using my AOA Studio, which is from the shopmissa.com line. They have fabulous brushes. Most of them are a dollar. Some of them are only available in their large set, which is $20 for 24 brushes. Again, I do not get anything from these people for telling you about this, other than the satisfaction that I am giving you high-quality brushes for next to nothing. Okay, so next, I'm going to use one of my... Oh, 
and use my uh, supernova crush diamond highlighter in the shade pink diamond dust from aether beauty which i got at the makeup swap that my lovely lovely friend danielle organized okay they're magnetic and he didn't want to come off it's this gorgeous peachy pink shade he's going right there tip of the nose brow bone I love this shade. I would, I wanted to buy it, but it sold out before I had a chance to grab it. Also, for the inner corner of the eye, I'm using my other favorite, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Iced Highlighter in the shade Iced Out. It's like that white gold. See, it's lovely. And for this one, where'd he go? Uh, I think I moved him. Well, screw it. Guess what we're going to do? We're going to use another small brush. We're going to use the Heavenly Liner Blending Brush. Yeah, are we? He's clean. Is he clean? I don't trust how clean he is. No, he's not clean. We're not going to use that brush. We are going to use... Screw it. I know I just washed you. One of these paintbrushes that came with my, uh, whatchamacallit set. My, um, cream color for Halloween. So let's put it right up in here. And along the bottom lash line. Because we have to finish our eyes. I'm basically trying to... Also, I'm going to put it under the brow bone. Just to kind of give a different little highlight. Differentiate some of these colors. Which you might not be able to see so well under this lighting. But trust me, in person, you can tell. Because these are more peachy and this one's a white gold. So it definitely does the job. Okay, now let me get some liner on. And some... Oh, wait. We were supposed to highlight about the brow, too. Fuck. Well, where'd we go? We still have highlighter on this. That's got to be enough, because I'm not going back. Ain't nobody going back. All right, let's brush these brows out real fast. I'm using my Gimme Brow in shade four and a half because it blends everything together it's a hair darker than the liner brush i mean um the brow brush uh brow pencil jesus christ fuck's wrong with me i can't speak english today again sorry for the swearing if you are uh foul language sensitive there's days my inner popeye come out and my mother hates when i use foul language because as she says it rather denotes a lack of vocabulary the way i look at it is they've done testing and they've shown that people with higher iqs actually use more foul language so you tell me but what else all right so since we're going with like a nice like gentle kind of golden shade i am going to use the shade sangria in ojos perfectos gel pencil liner from araceli it's a ipsy thing to kind of line the bottom Just the lash line area. And that outer corner a little bit. Just to give it a little V. See? Because I'm going to put wing liner, of course. Because, you know, I'm Barb. There you go. What I will also do, ha ha ha, to set that. Because, again, anything liquid, cream, or gel you want to set with a powder. Or else... Are you really setting it? Oh, yes. This is what I was going to do. <laughs> I'm having a moment. I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit more of that tan MAC pigment. And I'm going to brush it right over it. See? Now we'll set it. And give it some shimmer. See? How about that? Cash me outside. for a lipstick well life sucks okay a little bit more for the outer corner now here's the thing i was going to do black liquid liner on the outside i've changed my mind i'm going to do a brown but i'm still going to use black gel liner get this for the inner rim because i'm feeling kind of saucy so i'm going to use the araceli beauty ojos perfectos liquid liner in coffee slash cafe because it's a bilingual line 
And I'm still going to use my Hourglass 1.5 millimeter mechanical gel liner, which is black. I bought a three pack of these last year. I think this is my second one. I love these. See how tiny this is? This is perfect for the inner line. Especially because as a contact lens wearer, I can't just put anything on my inner waterline because a lot of them smear right onto my contacts. This one does not. So if you ever catch me doing inner waterline in black, it's this one. I've tried, there's another skinny one that tries to be this from Maybelline. It's a pink pencil. They're a little skinny ultra gel liner. If you don't have contacts, you'd probably be fine with it. It's okay. But I didn't find it. I, like, I liked it at first, but once I discovered this one, I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to tight line the upper. What have I been missing out on? And by the way, I'm not doing lashes today. Because I'm going to use two different mascaras on two different eyes to try and test something. Okay, so that is my tight line and waterline lash liner. Whew. For some reason, it always makes my eyes run. Let's go. So all I really need after this is some setting spray, mascara, and lipstick. And I hear him being ready. I need a lipstick in the car because he's driving. Liner. I hear him out of the shower. That's why I'm hurrying. And there we go. So now, let me pick a lipstick. I'm picking out of here. This stack of lipsticks, my carities. Let's see, what do we have that's ready to go? That's open. You're not open. There was one that was open before. Where the hell did I put it? No, no. Was it all night long? No. <laughs> because these are all still taped shut. So I'm looking for something in the brown family. All that. Hmm. Brownish red. We'll have to do donkey. That's the color. Kind of a peachy brown. I have tea leaves somewhere in my drawer of liquid lipsticks, but as I said, somewhere in. We're not doing that today. I ain't got time for that. So while this sets, I'm going to spray my face. some setting spray. Which one do I have? I have my bridal setting spray. Oh, I need a different blush to kind of blend over here. I want something a little peachier for the outer part. Where'd you go? Where did you go, my lovely? Where did you go? Yes, we're using Foxy from Honest Beauty because I love it. And it'll also help pull the browns and the Somewhat pinkish lipstick I just picked by accident. Because it's kind of like a highlighter kind of blush. Hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't, I'm going to look like an asshole. Oh, well. Still swear by Scandinavia Bridal Spray. So the two mascaras we're playing with today, one is going to be the Sky High. 
and the other is going to be Flower Lash Warrior, which I find Lash Warrior makes my lashes look gigantic, and nothing really ever does. I'm also wearing light brown, so that way it will work better. So that's about it. So, I want to thank you in advance for having watched me thus far. And I hope you all have a great rest of your Thanksgiving weekend. Other than that, I don't really have much to say. Stay kind. As Ruby said, remember life is about the balance between letting go and holding on and knowing which is appropriate at any given time. Oh, and also do your part to end the pandemic because, you know, if we all work together. If we all work together in the end, who knows? Even Black Plague came back, the Black Death, several times between 1347 when it made its initial huge impact on Europe through the 1600s. Look up your history. Milan, London, they all had it come back in the 1600s. In fact, in 1666, after during the Great Plague outbreak in London is when the Great Fire came out. And they feel that the fire cleansed the plague because it killed a lot of the uh, infected rats and fleas. Just saying. So that is Lash Warrior on that one. I'm going to put a second coat on. But in the meantime, let me put my first coat on the other one. And as soon as I hear him on the steps, I'm shutting this off. So don't expect a fancy goodbye. I will take some uh, stills and put it on my social media for how this look came out. Once I was dressed and my hair was out of the wrap. Because once it comes out, I have to fluff it. This is basically to take all the excess moisture out. But it's still going to be rather wet. So I have to say, since it's the end of November and it's actually cold right now. You know, hold on. Maybe tomorrow it will be warm again like it was yesterday. It's a... Uh, it's a thing I'm blessed to be say that I'm happy I'm going in a car because if not, I would probably have icicles in my hair. Yeah. Peace out.